Hello everyone, and welcome to another Company of Heroes 2 replay cast. My name is ATR, and today we're going to have a 1v1 on Simwaski Winter. Brand new map released uh, on the patch that actually hit on the 10th of September. I think this replay is going to be out uh, either on the 12th or the 13th, probably the 13th. So I <laughs> I was, I was going to say yesterday, but it's not going to get out in time. So anyways, uh, yeah, uh, latest patch gave us this brand new map. It's Samoa or Samoaski, just in its winter version. So as you can see, pioneers are running through the snows. I mean, through the uh, ice, that is. Obviously, there's also snow. But uh, but yeah, we'll see uh, how this plays out. This is the first replay that I saw on this map, so I graphed it, and let's see how this map plays. In any case, our heroes today are going to be Schmetterling, 905th, playing for the Germans. And then we have Maitian. Maitai. Maitian. My, my That's kind of hard to say. Maitian, uh, playing for the Soviets of the Red Army. Uh, so, as far as units goes, we see uh, Maitian going for conscript opening. Although he uh, did keep his uh, combat engineers close to his base, he went out and capped uh, the strategic point uh, next to his base and then sent them back to uh, build tier 2. So, quite interesting. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? A fast opening into tier 2. So, uh, so yeah, it's just one conscript out to be able to cap. It's out in the map. So we'll see how that works out. Tier 2 going to provide him some heavy weapons out there. Uh, Schmetterling went ahead and built himself tier 1 like most Germans do. And got himself two um, grenadiers out on the field and a MG42 being produced right now. So we'll see how that works out. And, oh, dear me. I uh, don't have the... Uh, things where it should be. Hold on. Let me pop that in. There we go. <laughs> You're not supposed to see that. I left it uh, on. Oh, uh, sorry. I left it uh, off because of the 3v3 replay that should have gone, should have been uh, out by now, but uh, all over the place, people. Sorry about that. But anyways, okay. Uh, everything looks good. So we're good. So anyways, uh, no conflicts, no engagement so far. We do see Schmetterling going a little bit for the center with his grenadiers, capping the territory here on the victory point and putting himself in heavy cover. Quite nice. And for Mai Tai, we do see that he produced a Maxim machine gun from his tier 2, which is hitting the field right now, and following it up with a mortar. So very uh, heavy focus on those support weapons. Not a bad idea, but, well, we'll see how that goes. In any case, we have... Two Grenadiers, MG42, and a third Grenadier squad being produced for Schmetterling. Conscripts capture in territory very near this uh, enemies. Uh, finally, we get an engagement. MG42 jumps into this house and is probably going to fire at these conscripts, but not in time, or at least not before they get into the church. So the MG42 will open up on these conscripts, but will not actually do that much damage, considering that they are in the cover of these Teflon-covered buildings. We also hear a Maxim machine gun opening fire. We have it here, firing probably at the Grenadiers. Grenadiers are going into the house. So again, they will have themselves some cover. And after the recent patch, we also have that um, Maxim machine guns are apparently quite effective at suppressing now. We'll, uh, we'll see how the game uh, progresses with that, but uh, quite interesting. Conscripts in the church are taking a beating, however. They are getting shot at by all sides. Three Grenadier squads plus an MG42 opening up on them. They have already lost two men inside that church, and unless they get some quick support, they are going to lose more. Mortar for Mai Tai does get... Well, we're going to call him Mai Tai. Sorry, guys. It's a little bit easier to say. Mortar does get set up here, capturing the point. At the same time, opening fire on this house, making these Grenadiers jump out of there. They are no longer suppressed because they had the cover of the house, and they're going to just waddle through the snow there and get out of the arc of fire. Conscript squad down to two men. Lost four men inside that building and they do hit retreat. Gonna be out of there alive. Mortar round landing almost on top of these grenadiers but they do manage to dodge it a little bit. Gonna jump into heavy cover and there is no longer any view by the Soviet player Mai Tai and the mortar is no longer in firing. We do see a second Maxim machine gun now on the field for Mai Tai, and he is using it aggressively for capping. Grenadiers are right outside of the arc of fire of that Maxim machine gun, but the one in the house is going to be able to open fire on them. They do manage to jump into cover, but decide to jump away 
from cover. Not a bad idea considering that mortar round was going to land almost on top of them. But they do get suppressed out on the graveyard. Another Grenadier squad moves from the side trying to get a flank, but it does get suppressed by these Maxim Machine Guns, so Soviet players should be very happy now with the performance of these Maxim Machine Guns, because before they wouldn't suppress, well, anything. Probably got suppressed themselves by small arms fires before they actually managed to suppress anything. Pioneers, or uh, combat engineers, that is, in this house with a flamethrower. Oh my god, a rifle grenade goes in and collapses that entire house. Nice move there, or lucky strike by Shetterling. I guess we still have those nukes uh, on those rifle grenades, and, uh, well, that house was not able to take it. Lucky break there for Schmetterling. Uh, let's see what he decides to do because of that. Maxim Machine Gun in the church now, catching this MG42 out in the open, getting suppressed. It is probably going to get pinned down, I would assume. It is crawling out of the range. It is no longer getting fired at, so it's going to manage to keep on going. And because the river is frozen, it can actually just keep on backing away instead of having to go, you know, through the normal path. So, quite a nice difference there for the, for the map. Like you can see here, the conscripts are simply running through the river instead of having to go through here, so it's quite nice. Opens up the map a lot, and we now see a the other Maxim machine gun jumping into this house, controlling this territory, getting these uh, this MG42 that was going through the snow, or ice that is, uh, to back away. AT gun on the field also for Mai Tai, so he is anticipating any type of vehicles, and he is correct in assuming that we do see a half track and a scout car being followed up by clear. Schmetterling. Plus a Panzer Grenadier, so he was, I guess, uh, floating a lot of manpower, so not something you want to do. Uh, but, uh, well, he is queuing up those orders, which is not the best situation, but I guess it's not a bad idea to already queue them up since you know what you want to get. So Maxim Machine Gun's being quite effective, uh, getting an actual pin down on a Grenadier Squad, which these conscripts could take advantage of by simply rushing towards, but they do see that there is another Grenadier Squad flanking his other support weapons over here on this side of the field, that is two Grenadier Squads, so the conscripts decide to move into the area and support. They jump into the house, but the Grenadiers are no longer in range, have to jump out and get back in there. Nice flanking going on by Mai Tai, but with the Maxim Machine Gun in this church. Ooh, nice rifle grenade goes in there, gets three kills on that Maxim Machine Gun. Though it does pop a hole in that uh, building, which the, uh, well, doesn't look like the Maxim Machine Gun decided to use that, but gives more ports to fire from. Mortar Squad also being quite effective here, doing some damage on these units behind cover. They are able to take shots from the Maxim Machine Gun without getting suppressed, so it's not a bad choice. Half-track rushing forward, getting into the field, but it decides to back off because it notices that there is, oh wait, an AT gun right there. Grenadier squad gets executed though, outside on the field, and the scout car is harassing this um, mortar, being very ballsy considering that there is that AT gun right there that could easily turn around and shoot it in the face. Maxim machine gun getting shot at from behind by this scout car, it's going to be able to get some kills in there, but might get itself AT nated by these conscript squads. Schmetterling decides not to take the chance and is going to simply back away, staying right outside the arc of fire of that Maxim and right at the edge, actually getting shot and taking some small damage. About half health on that scout, we're going to have to retreat and get it repaired before it gets anything else. Uh, Panzer Grenadiers hitting the field, going aggressive, but that Maxim machine gun in the uh, church is quite annoying and gets them pinned down and suppressed. Half-track quite effectively being used here, but it needs to get that upgrade on those flamethrowers. It is quite a way though, so it is not able to be that effective at clearing out those uh, support weapons. Gets 18-8 on the face and is now getting shot at by that Maxim machine gun. Should be able to get out of there in time, but it's going to take a lot of damage in the process. Conscripts do jump into this house to keep shooting at that um, half-track in the process. So it needs to get it out of there, otherwise he's going to lose it. Ooh, mortar round almost lands right on top of the half track, so quite lucky there for Schmetterling. So he is still floating uh, quite a bit of manpower. He's almost up, up to 600. Could get himself some more uh, support weapons uh, as far as mortars, maybe, to clear out those Maxim machine guns if he doesn't have the uh, munitions. But um, 
At least some Panzer Grenadiers, you know, Panzer Grenadiers are always good. If you can get a nice flank with them, they allow you to get those um, those quick kills with either their Storm Gewehrs or the Bundle Nade if you can uh, spare the ammunition. So this half track is essentially disabled. It's going to have to get repaired before it can actually hit the field. The scout car is still over here on the south getting repaired by those Pioneers, but there's only one squad of Pioneers on the field right now for Schmetterlings, so that is going to be, well, less than uh, ideal. So for the meantime, Mai Tai does have the advantage on the field. He has heavy weapons, uh, well, set up all over the place. The Maxim machine guns proving to be quite brutal, quite effective. So uh, Schmetterling should probably not focus in the center. He knows of those um, weapons, so he should probably, until he can get some indirect fire or a heavier push, not send infantry on their own in there. Grenadier squad going in, throwing it looked like a rifle grenade onto the uh, church. Didn't manage to get anything but themselves suppressed. Panzer Grenadiers engaging Chalk Troops. They are in light cover, both of them. Uh, I believe the Panzer Grenadiers should be able to win that match, especially if they throw a bundle late. But I think that Schmetterling is wanting to get himself that um, Flaming Warper upgrade, so he might be saving the munitions. No, he decides to, in fact, throw the bundle late right there. Gets nice kills on those Chalk Troops. Chalk Troops retort with their own grenade. Wow, three of them killed. One Panzer Grenadier left almost dead. And still a lot of man of power being floated by Schmetterling. You need to use that. He is now using it to produce another Panzer Grenadier squad and gonna use the rest of it to, well, basically reinforce. But uh, but yeah, don't let it get that high. You can always reinforce quite nicely. Scout car getting a nice flank on that AT gun. AT gun down to one man. And the last guy decides to retreat, being a coward. And the scout car actually gets naded on the face. So very uh, low in health with a damaged engine. Ooh, another, what was that actually? Did it go out of control? I think it went out of control. What was that? Mortar round? I don't know. I think it looked like another 18-8 or a mortar round, but that scout car went out of control, so quite a loss there for Schmetterling. He did decrew that AT gun, so he has the advantage right now to be able to push forward with his half track, but unfortunately he hasn't been able to repair it, though. And he has sent his pioneers actually to camp on this side, which I feel is a mistake. At the very least, produce another uh, pioneer squad with all the manpower that you have and get that half track back on the field. If he had the half track right now with that those flamethrower upgrade, look at all the damage he could do right now. He could clear out that maximum machine gun, that mortar, even do some damage on these conscripts because that AT gun is not being fielded right now. So. Quite a loss of an opportunity there for Schmetterling, but well, let's see how that affects him in the later part of the game. Right hand side of the field is getting captured, however, for Schmetterling, so that is quite a nice uh, pickup for him. Um, Mai Tai is going to have to push forward, but with all the Maxim machine guns, uh, he can't really be that aggressive in capping. Obviously, the Maxim machine gun can still go around and cap because in Company Hero 2, you don't need to be touching the territory. But it is a little bit less mobile, and I believe they made some adjustments in the current or la latest patch so that they aren't used as aggressively, you know, as combat units, more as support weapons as they, you know, they should be. But two the Maxim Machine Guns being quite brutal, uh, killing this uh, Panzer Grenadier outright and suppressing these ones out in the open, getting them to retreat. So yeah, uh, Schmetterling needs to do something about all those uh, machine guns, probably get himself a mortar at least, or maybe even a sniper. I mean, there is no uh, Soviet sniper currently on the field because um, Mai Tai went for Tier 2, so a German sniper would not be a terrible idea. Not the best, but it could start, you know, picking off at those support weapons a uh, little by little, forcing a response by Schmetterling. I mean, by my time. So anyways, uh, at the very least, we do see that Schmetterling has managed to cap uh, most of the map. Uh, my Tai is currently focused in the center, um, heavily defending it with all his support weapons, but he is getting out cap on the, uh, on the sides right now. Grenadiers getting suppressed out in the uh, open. They are in heavy cover, however, so they will be able to last there for quite a while. Still suppressed, though, and the uh, points over here are getting cut off. Shock troops uh, not allowing these uh, Panzer Grenadiers to get the cap there. Maxim Machine Gun opening up on these Panzer Grenadiers as they retreat. My idea we can get a kill on the retreating units. No, they actually managed to make it out alive. Thus, Schmetterling have himself a medic bunker. He should get one of those as well and try to get it uh, repaired. Finally, we do see Schmetterling getting himself a second Pioneer Squad. Is now going to repair that half track. 
Uh, took too long, in my opinion. Uh, that half track only hit the field for a little while, got disabled, and has, for several minutes now, well, being useless. So, uh, if you're going to have vehicles, get yourself at least two Pioneers and make sure that you keep your, your vehicles in tip top shape. That way you can actually push on the unit. We finally see that my tight. No, actually, he's not even doing that since there's no vehicles on the field right now. He actually has no need to do so. So that AT gun is still the crew. Panzer Grenadiers just rushing into the center. Wow, nice. What was it? Bundle lane? Yeah, it looked like that bundle lane went in. Or was it a rifle lane? Either way, uh, nah, it looks like it was a bundle lane. Yeah. Bundle lane goes in and collapses the church. Another lucky break there for Schmetterling, and he takes care of one of those Maxim machine guns. So now this allows him to rush into the center of the field and, um, well, get some kills. Yeah, it wasn't the Immortar, so yeah, it was that bundle lane altogether. Uh, interesting choice by Maitai. He decides to cap that um, AT gun. I guess he didn't want uh, Schmetterling to get it. Not a bad choice. But he doesn't have any way of getting it out of there, so these units are simply going to get killed. He rushes it a little bit further away to try to dissuade Schmetterling to uh, capture that uh, gun. And now we do finally see that half track hitting the field still doesn't have that flamethrower upgrade. Not a bad thing exactly, because he did take full advantage of those uh, nades, basically. Especially collapsing that house. But we now see that T-34 on the field for Mai Tai, so this half track... Well... His days are counted. I mean, he can back it up and use it to reinforce, basically. Nice uh, preemptive nade by the shock troops there, trying to deny Schmetterling from capturing that AT gun, and he actually does manage to do so. And gets a full retreat. This half track goes down to that T-34, and the T-34 has basically free reign on the field right now. We do have uh, Tier 2, so Schmetterling needs to get himself at, ver at the very least a pack. However, he already teched up two Tier... Um, Four, and can get himself a, um, well, pan a panther, I suppose. He is relatively near on the field, 124, so yeah, not a bad idea. He does have to save up on the manpower, but I suppose that would be very uh, effective at canceling any, uh, you know, armor for the uh, Soviet player. So missed opportunity is there for Schmetterling. He does get uh, chased off of the field right now. He did finally brought out a mortar, which is uh, going to try to work against the, both the Soviet mortar and those uh, support weapons. But um, maybe a little bit too late for that. Still going to help out, though, as long as he keeps it in a nice position. Not a bad position, i got to say, right there. Uh, covered by the hetero. But I'm not exactly sure how much range it has. I can't actually check myself, but oh well. Still not a bad idea. He does have an MG42 covering this position. Not exactly sure that is the best uh, thing to do with it. But, well, what else can you really do? Go capture territory over here? I suppose that's not an option, but, well, not the best. Uh, a um, strong push on the right-hand side by Schmetterling. He is going with both his Panzer Grenadiers to the right-hand side. We currently see that there is nothing on the field on the right-hand side for Mai Tai. So it is going to be a easy uh, capping. Mines going down uh, for Schmetterling, not a bad choice. Those are Teller Mines, I believe, yeah, Teller Mines, nice. So if the T-34 decides to rush in to try to prevent that cap and he goes through the obvious route, he is going to be in for a nasty surprise. We do see 140 fuel now for um, Schmetterling. Uh, so he could produce himself that Panther, but he does need the manpower, still a little bit off. I believe it's 700 we said, uh, 600, so only 20 man powers. Let's see if that's what he's waiting for. I would assume it is. He does hit the 600. Is he actually going to get that Panther? Uh, if, uh, well, get it now if you can. I mean, okay, well, he's not getting anything so far. Maybe he uh, isn't paying exactly attention to his uh, income, but uh, but yeah, Panther right now would actually be quite quite slow. And exactly as he as I, I figured. Very nice. So a Panther is going to hit the field in a little while. Ooh, the uh, Teller Mine does actually uh, hit on that uh, T-34. If he follows it up with a Panzer Shrek, I mean a Panzer Faust, that is, uh, he could actually get a kill on that. Also, Panzer Shreks equipped on those uh, Panzer Grenadiers would do the job, but, um, but yeah. Panzer Faust would, uh, would be nice, but, uh, well, he doesn't have anything in the area. Another missed opportunity, but maybe the Panther will simply just rush in and rip it to shreds. He is supported now by an AT gun, so he can't really be that bold, but it is Panther. It should be able to take some shots. 
so in the meantime, we do see the left-hand side of the map being captured by Mai Tai. Shmeter Ling isn't doing much uh, in order to prevent that. He is focusing on the right-hand side and actually getting a, a flank with his units on these uh, on these support weapons, but with a uh, Maxim machine gun in this house. This, uh, ooh, it looks like he's going to lose it. Well, Grenadier Squad looks like it manages to barely make it out of there. Another Panzer Grenadier, uh, well, the Panzer Grenadiers uh, do retreat through everything and uh, go down to two men, but looks like they're going to make it out of there. Another rifle nade goes into, ooh, very nice barrage there by Mai Tai onto these Grenadiers. Is he actually going to get them all? No, uh, two of them do manage to back off. And I believe they are well out of the range of that shot, so they're going to make it out of there. Nice kill there by the Panther, hitting the field in force, getting rid of that T-34. And could potentially get rid of that AT gun. He's actually going to try to get behind the AT gun. He does manage to do so. Can he get a nice shot in there? Gets a nice shot, kills one more guy. Can he get a second shot and destroy it? Well, let us see. Uh, well, that shot misses benefit of the Panther is because of its heavier armor it is less susceptible to those 18-8s and that AT gun actually manages to go down uh, he well he recruits it immediately so nice uh, reaction died there by Mai Tai it's gonna still be effective there the uh, Maxim machine gun that's down to one man is gonna try to retreat uh, one nice shot goes in by that AT gun gets some damage on that rear armor another shot goes in brings it down to about half health so that Panther needs to get itself out of there get itself repaired and prepare itself for another attack. Second AT gun being produced for uh, Mai Tai, so that is going to make it a lot more difficult for that Panther to uh, engage. Mortar uh, got retreated for Schmetterling, so it's not able to support these Panzer Grenadiers. Mortar right now on the field, getting moved up somewhere around here, would uh, help try to clear out these uh, these guns. Nice barrage goes in on top of the house, almost collapses the house. Panzer Grenadiers to jump out not a moment too soon they uh the uh, house does collapse and they make it out of there all of them alive still we don't see a bunker with a medic station here uh, not an excellent choice i would say by schmetterling his uh, infantry is always getting back on the field damage so uh it is a nice investment to do because that's gonna allow you to keep your infantry on the field a lot longer if they are at full health as you can tell the uh, Soviet player does have medics, so his units hit the field at full health, being much more effective than the uh, German units. Panzer Grenadier is rushing forward, trying to get some kills on these conscripts. Uh, nice barrage in there by that AT gun, actually manages to get a kill. It looked like I'm almost on two of these. Panzer Grenadiers go down to one man, and they have to retreat. Grenadiers taking heavy cover on this little slab of uh, wall. But a mortar round lands right on top of them, all of them clustered, and gets killed on two of them. Standing by. So, uh, quite a nice shot there. Let's see how the Soviet mortar has been doing. Wow, very nice. Veteran C2, 12 kills on that, no friendly fire. Quite an effective Ready. one. Rifle nade being used by the uh, Grenadiers. Not managing to clear out that AT gun, only getting themselves suppressed and having to retreat down to one man. Panther hitting the field again, but it is not supported. Uh, well, there is support coming behind it, I suppose. Pioneers and a squad of Grenadiers, but that's not a lot of support. Takes a shot to the face by these uh, AT mates. Where's that mortar? Mortar is over here on the river. Quite exposed, but not a bad position, I suppose. Taking some nice shots at this house. Quite good. Panther decides to back off after taking some shots. He's going to have to get repaired. There is a Pioneer squad around here, or there was at least. I uh, know the pioneers are retreating. Quite unfortunate. So, quite a, a non-aggressive here uh, by Schmetterling. He is trickling his units in. He needs to, if he's going to push forward like that, he needs to at least do it in one fell swoop. You know, flanks and focuses and stuff. But uh, oh well. Mortar. Uh, ooh, quite a nasty shot there. Uh, counter mortar there. Uh, Ooh, gets decrewed. Yeah, that uh, Soviet mortar at Vet 2 was going to be far more effective than it. So, uh, quite an unlucky break there for Schmetterling, losing his only indirect fire that he has on the field right now. So, let's see how this uh, goes out. Uh, stronger push. 
three squats, but again, look at that. It's four four uh, man squats, but very low in health. These Panzer Grenadiers are less than half health, and they're at four man, so they're going to die very quickly. Not going to be that effective. Get yourself that medic bunker as soon as you can, so you get your units back to tip-top shape. Panzer Grenadiers getting suppressed out on the open. Uh, the Grenadiers behind them are supporting with an LMG-42. Not a lot of munitions in the bank for Schmetterlings, so he's not able to do much here. No bundle nades, no rifle nades, it look like. And with the loss of his mortar, he's also not able to get any uh, indirect fire in there. So, quite a uh, useless push here. Didn't actually manage to accomplish much. This Grenadier Squad is now getting shot at, getting suppressed, and he's going to have to retreat. Not sure what he, uh, Schmetterling can do here. He does have his tier um, tier four. Uh, he could get himself a Brumbar. I mean, a Brumbar is a uh, a nice unit in this type of situation. Collapses house. I believe it is in direct fire, but uh, he does need a little bit more fuel, which he is going to get. He's at 135. So let's see if he decides to go for a Brumbar. He is almost at the uh, required amount of uh, resources. We do see a. Uh, Ooh, highest two hitting the field for Mai Tai. Uh, wow, that is going to be quite brutal. That Panther is going to need some help. So if he catches wind of that IS-2, he could probably consider uh, building another Panther with the resources that he has. And he might be able to do something about it with that. But uh, hmm. it's looking very iffy. Engagement here on the right-hand side. Panzer Grenadiers losing two shock troops, and they are down to one man, retreating through the middle of any everything. I don't think these Panzer Grenadiers are going to make it out of there. Getting shot at on retreat. Maxim machine guns taking fire, and actually it's just one of the guys in the house takes a nice shot and executes that Panzer Grenadier out in the open. Grenadiers uh, going a little bit forward. Nice rifle nade goes in there. Gets uh, two kills, it looked like. Uh, conscripts and combat engineers. I don't think they're going to be able to win that, considering that these guys are also Vet 2 and they have LMGs. One of them has, at least. And the IS-2 is now on the field, taking some shots at something over here. What was that? I don't know what that was. Something got blown up there. It looks like it was either a Panzer Grenadier or a Grenadier squad. Interesting. So the IS-2 going very forward. Uh... Schmetterling needed to, at the very least, have a, uh, f a, a flag, you know, I mean a pack, you know, maybe to try to stop it, but, well, he is, uh, again, floating a lot of resources. He could have gotten himself another Panther. He knows about the IS-2 right now. Hit that Panther immediately. Uh, I mean, get the Panther behind it, get some shots, don't get it killed while the other Panther is getting produced. But, no, he is uh, trying to circle around. Let's see what he does. Conscript's trying to get into the area to shoot at the, uh, well, uh, throw an 18-8. Panther does get a shot on the rear armor, it looked like. Wow. Looked like the 18-8 uh, actually hit the IS-2. That's interesting. Panther gets a nice shot in there, gets some good damage. Uh, another shot goes in, but I think it got deflected. And he is in the water. Oh, no. Ooh. Not what you want to see as Schmetterling. He was producing his second Panther, which would have helped out against the IS-2. But the IS-2 shoots that uh, Panther in the water, goes down into the water, and... Well, gets him instant insta-kill in there. One of the things you have to worry about while traversing the ice. There is another Panther hitting the field right now. Let's see what it does. There's a small engagement up in the north by the Grenadiers and Chalk Troops. Grenadiers have to retreat. And it looks like Schmetterling decides to throw in the towel. He doesn't actually uh, wait to see what the Panther can do. I mean, the IS-2 did have a lot of health, still about 75%. But, I mean, it, it could have actually gotten there. But, you know, supported by AT guns, not uh, not exactly what you want to see. So, yeah, Schmetterling throws in the towel. Uh, as far as tips or advice, try to not float. Always try to do something with your resources unless you are pop-capped. If you're pop-capped, that is your only excuse. Uh, only other excuse, which isn't a really good one, is if you were trying to wait for a call-in that you didn't have uh, command points for. But, I mean, those situations, you probably shouldn't put yourself in there. But, uh, yeah, always try to do something with your manpower. Um, you know, you 
built the uh, Panther Four. I mean the Panther, <laughs> Panther Four, the Panther, um, and you still have 600 manpower floating around. Um, you know, build some more units. You, you were down a lot of units, but you know, mortars would have helped here. Getting yourself hell, even two mortars would have helped out with the amount of um, uh, support weapons that you had there. Try not to put your units in the ice. Uh, that's not the best choice. At the very least, put them in cover. Uh, that way, if they do get shot at, they at least have some type of protection. This little hedger, I believe, should be a shot blocker right there. Uh, so that's not a bad choice to put your mortar there, especially in this type of map, since you can actually just run through the through the water instead of having to go through here. If you have to retreat, is they're going to retreat instantly. So, you know, they're not that exposed, and they're near to shoot. Uh, two mortars, I think, would have helped. Sniper maybe would have helped, considering the amount of support weapons. And, uh, and getting yourself your own pack, you know, that would have also helped against this thing. But there weren't a lot of vehicles on the field, and the Panther IV is an excellent anti-vehicle counter. So I can't really say much about the pack in that situation. Still, I mean, it looked like Mai Tai had the advantage for the uh, entire map, pretty much. He uh, made very good use of all those uh, support weapons. So... Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, not not a bad use of those uh, rifle nades and such, but flamethrowers, man, flamethrowers are excellent against those Don't static weapons. Uh, your uh, uh, the, the half track, if you had gotten the flamethrower upgrade on that one, I think it would have been much more useful. And always for those light vehicles, try to get them repaired as fast as you can. Get yourself a second pioneer and repair them immediately so that they hit the field and you know be more useful. As you can tell in the replay, that AT gun, the first AT gun, got decrewed and stayed decrewed for so long that that uh, half-track with the flamethrower would have been brutal against all these uh, support weapons by themselves. But anyways, uh, hindsight is 2020, so nothing against uh, Schmetterling. Uh, hopefully this uh, replay showed you things that you could have done and helped you out. Otherwise, uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the cast. Uh, have yourself a great day, and I will see you next time.